Right, so here we go. This is our February 2021 collection. It's silver. Um, I tend to have more gold because costume jewelry tend to be made in uh, gold more than silver. Also, the silver doesn't seem to wear as well, uh, whatever um, coatings and metal technology they're using. Um, silver items often don't last as well as um, the gold. But these ones have. Some of them are unworn. It's dead stock from a German company that specialized in jewelry from the 80s. Um, and although they carried on making jewelry up into the 90s, they then stopped sort of early 90s and focused on um, bra and, and bathing suit fittings. So still using metal and their expertise, but not for jewelry anymore. So there I have some pieces by them. I also have some lovely pieces from the 1960s, a couple of Sarah Coventry, and also some um, little tiny lapel pins and some rhinestone from the 80s. But let's start a closer look with these ones. So these are all unworn 1980s pieces. You can see that they're part of a collection. It was a sample card that I received. They're metal, nice strong pin. They've all been hand polished and really just they didn't even need much cleaning I, because they've been kept in storage the whole time. Um, I just have one of each of these and that's really nice with the dangle. Yeah, and a little bit of a chain. Again, they are heavy because they're metal and there's quite a bit of space. So they're really good for a wool coat, but they're going to be really nice um, on jumpers or dresses, pantsuits, uh, down the cleavage or on a lapel. I mean, they suit most kind of fashion. Um, so I would use a brooch sponge uh, if, if, if they were, um, if someone buys them because they are a weighted piece. Now what's nice about these is it's very much a kind of 80s Victorian revival which is moving into the Victorians were reviving the Gothic and Tudor styles and if you're watching anything like The Great which is a, a little bit earlier or if you're watching you know the Tudors or any of our sort of historical um you know, not authentic dramas. A lot of this jewelry, you're kind of going to see those type of things. Now, if we move over here, we move all the way to the back to the 60s. This is a Sarah Coventry piece, which I love. They're really clever using independent designers. Um, and this was jewelry that people bought at home. So these were manufactured in the States originally. And you can see here, this one's from Canada. Sign Sarah Coventry. Most of the British Sarah Coventry that I find is either Canadian or it will say GB. So they were manufacturing here. Some designs you'll find in America um, and some are just here. So it's, it's really interesting to find out. I love this one because I like the smooth with the texture. It's very modernist. This one similar again with your smooth and texture really popular. Sarah Coventry can see it stay into focus there and it doesn't say GB or Canada um, so I'm not really sure where this one was made meant to hang like this but certainly with a brooch sponge it will give you the option especially on a hat to wear it up so that's another like, nice piece quite heavy this one fantastic probably 80s just by the style handmade it's all metal, it's round, it's really soft, it has a kind of pewtery feel, but I reckon that this is um, just a kind of steel that has um, been kind of textured. You can see parts of it are hammered, it's beautifully made. It's just a simple pin that's been cemented onto the back, it's very secure. Again, heavy, needs um, a sponge, but wow, what a piece, really good. Okay, so those are the more modern ones. Move over, moving to here, I've got a couple of sparklies. I like this one. You can tell that it's um, probably 80s. It's uh, cast metal, nice and heavy, uh, and the stones are glued in. And what's really nice is the stones are all clear. They're obviously mirror backed because you can tell by the sparkling and just the shape is really nice. This is a great one. Great for a shoulder or the waistband. Again, imagine on a tuxedo lapel. Brooches can be worn on any type of garment for any person. So, you know, never be kind of worried like, oh, they're just for fancy or just for a coat. These little guys, I have one of each. These are um, ones that I've actually listed. Nothing's listed on the website at the moment. But these are little lapel pins. And it's just a little pop of sparkle. Okay, and then the other one 
has a pearl and it's a little swoosh. I have this in gold as well on a stick, so like a lapel pin. And they just pop through just like a normal, sort of the regular pins you see with a little pinch back. And those are also 80s and they're from Germany. Now this little set, I really like these. I've, got, I've combined two um, collections. So this little guy here, I have some of these in gold. So he was with one group and you can tell um, it's the outside is very different. It's almost Art Nouveau. And then you've got this kind of mirrored Tiffany lamp thing going on there, kind of fake. But this is plastic on a metal base with a little pin, just a C hook. Yeah, just a fun little pin. These would have been sort of cheap and cheerful things. They look, you know, again, this um, Victorian revival, but with an 80s kind of zhuzh on it. Look at that, looks like a scarab beetle. But this is just a treated little plastic cabochon. And they're really cute, really nice colors. The greens, the teals, those of us who are around in the 80s will remember all those colors pan out a bit. So lots of different sizes. They're quite cute. None of them match, whoops, none of them match perfectly, but they would be, make a nice set or a cluster. Also, they'd be nice if you were wearing them with a bigger brooch in a kind of set. Finally, this is a little teacup of a combination of things with the silver, again, from our German factory. This is all plastic and a little plastic cabochon. But, you know, if you want something just to throw in a coat and not worry if you're going to lose it, look, you can see there it's signed. Western Germany gives you, a time, gives you an idea of the date if we're still keeping separate. Um, and there's purple and there's a little blue one. That's really nice. It's really sweet, really cute. The ones inside, these I love, and these are on the website, and no one's really spotted them yet. Um, they're little glass cabochons. These are 1960s. There's a silver braid. It's set in really well. They're really lovely. They come in lots of colors. I'm just showing the blue and the gray. So there's the blue. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? It's really nice. Super cute on a collar. Okay, so somewhere small. Or again, if you're thinking about putting a big and a small together, they're really nice for that. I've got a few of these. I think I have four. And I think they're really interesting because they're meant to be worn like this. And because I have matching, I think they were designed for collars. Metal, really nicely made, cast, lots of space. You could put two of them on like a winter coat collar, one on each side or a jacket. Also with the sponge, although they would be a bit apt to hook on to things, you could wear them up. I think they'd be cool on the shoulders of a jumpsuit. They're very planty. Think of someone who likes plants, you know, and again, having such good costume jewelry, silver metal without tarnish or wear is quite rare. These are not as silvery. They're kind of gray silver, but they're really nice. Um, and I also included this one. He needs a little bit of a wash, but I just thought it was interesting. Just the stones. It's just plastic. And um, yeah, I think once he's washed up, I think that's really cool. And it will look nice because the pin will disappear and it'll just be like a little sphere of spheres. So that is February 2021, the silver collection. Like I said, I've got a few things online, the little blue ones here, the teeny tinies. Nothing else is online at the moment. These are all going to be released um, in February, beginning of February. Some things I'm holding back for the Soul Love Vintage Fair. But if you see something you like, let me know. I can give you information on prices, etc. And, um, and it can be yours with PayPal. Um, or if you want to be patient, then um, you can wait until it goes online. So thank you. We're outside today because this was the best light. I'm trying lots of different ways, but I think um, outside is still the best. We're just on the picnic table. Oh, no. You can see a little bit of table there. And um, happy Friday.